never really happens like that too much but uh what we want to do is before we start it let's uh start the networking card if you guys want internet this is how you do it uh simple command there you go start x power on the machine uh, since this is backtrack final there's a few different commands other than uh, beta so uh, I'll, you know go through the steps of that for you guys which is simple easy real quick nine simple steps well in all reality it's really uh, Maybe six steps the most. Let's give it a second to load up here. I don't understand why it's taking so long. As I said, it's backtrack for finals, so uh, I guess that's just the way it is. Uh, Give it at least two seconds to load up here, real quick. First, we want to open up the open up a console, or others call it CMD command. First command I want to write in Amon ng start my network card. Put it into monitor mode. Uh, there it goes right there. Now it's in monitor mode. This is, you know, applies to backtrack final. In beta, you could just keep using W L A N zero for, you know, at the end of every command that you place. Next, I want to type an aerial arrow dump. There we go. Let's give it a second for the networks to pop up. Shouldn't take that long. All right, this one is mine, so I want to uh, do this for educational purposes. I'm gonna press Control C. I'm not gonna wait for other ones to pop up. I just want to crack mine real quick and show you how fast it is. So we want to copy the BSSID, minimize that, open up another terminal, terminal. Follow this simple command. D, D. Channel. Mine's is on 11, so now we type in the or copy and paste the VSSID for that network. Followed by mom zero. And this, what it will do is lock it down to start collecting data. We want data to at least reach 30,000. I'm going to show you a way to speed that up. But now we need authentication, meaning like to authenticate the handshake. Uh, we're going to type in air replay. BSSID number again followed by one zero it should authenticate it and as you see sending authentication request open system authentication successful now what I'll do is minimize, the minor, minimize that as well uh, type in one last command to help the packets and data move faster. And reply. G. One. Oops. It's three. B. 
GSS ID number again. Qualified mod zero. And this will help speed up the process of receiving data. Now if we open up uh, our first one, this is the thing, we can close that to speed up the process as well. Uh, as you see the data is moving pretty fast, though we want to wait till it at least gets to 30,000. up the authentication, speed up the process too, less terminals open, faster the process is, alright, we want to wait to at least 30,000, which will be pretty fast, and we have one last command, and if you guys bear with me for a second, let's let it reach to 30,000. Moving pretty fast. And this is the quickest, easiest, simplest way of web hacking with Backtrack 4. Uh, there's a lot of other tutorials that probably put you through like 20 steps, 30 steps. Uh, don't blame them, that's how everybody first starts, but they're really newbies. So they really uh, don't know too much like they go through uh, the whole circle instead of cutting right through the middle something real simple I mean anybody can learn this as fast you know for educational purposes I'm hacking my own uh, wireless network so once again this can be used any way you use it but uh, do be aware of the responsibility it has in hand. Okay, it's almost done. 30,000. 25,000 right now. 26. Moving pretty fast. Okay. So since we have now 30,000, I want to open up one last command terminal. want to type in this simple command. The last command we're going to do is air crack. G WP 01 dot cap and this right now open it up Right now, getting the web key for us. It's usually faster than that. Uh, let's give it a second. Understand why it's so slow. I can close that now. Uh, there we go. The key is found. Uh, it was quick, simple. Uh, like I said, it's for educational purposes. Again, there goes my key. Uh, sometimes it will give you an error message saying that it needs to reach 5,000, and then you can always restart the backtrack for again through the same process and it'll go through. Like I said, this is for educational purposes only. Uh, quickest, most simplest way of hacking a web key. Uh, the fastest way I've seen so far. So, hope you guys enjoyed.